You know, there are literally millions of cool things to see and do in Michigan. I'm Tom Dalton from the Emmy Award winning PBS television program, Under the Radar Michigan, and I'm going to show you every single one of them. Well, let's just start with this one. Now, if you're looking for a place where you can live, laugh, and learn about the natural world around you, a zoo is a great place to go. And this is a great one. Just west of downtown Grand Rapids, you'll find one of the most awesome zoos this side of the jungle. The John Ball Zoo combines a modern approach to caring for animals with a rich history of giving back to this great community. While we gained some altitude into the park, I had the pleasure of getting to know Brenda Stringer. She's a big part of why this place is so special. Tell me a little bit about the zoo. So there really was a John Ball. Yeah, John Ball gave the original land. He left us 40 acres in his will for public purposes. Um, and so that was in 1884. People started using it as a park. The original 40 acres was the hill the zoo is on, and then that land got expanded over time. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. So there's quite a bit of history here. There's a lot of history. Here. And there's quite a bit of altitude we're getting here as well. I mean, I didn't realize this area was so hilly, but so this takes you up into the canopy of the forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, I come here just for this ride. <laughs> I, I, mean, I haven't seen an animal yet, I'm still having fun. Up top, we discovered one of the coolest habitats for man or beast. The forest environment you walk through up here is very cool. And after a bit of, well, goofing around, Brenda got me up close and personal with one of my favorite creatures. So oh, this is a brand new exhibit? This, this just opened this summer. We opened it in June. And, and this is the forest habitat of our Tigers of the Realm exhibit. And explain the difference between a, a regular habitat and a soft habitat. Well, this is a very soft scape. This is a very natural exhibit. And we tried as much as we can just to fence it in give the tigers what they need, like the pool, some places to get up on rocks. We wanted to keep the mature trees, um, you know, and make it safe, make good viewing for the visitor, but just to, to be very easy on the landscape and try to keep it as natural as we could. What's wonderful about what zoos are doing now is they're being so mindful of the animals and mm -hmm. giving them natural habitats so they're not in right. cages anymore. They're actually roaming around free, right. and they can go from, air, yeah. like you said, area to area. There's just something magical about tigers. There's something about them that... You know, they're almost mystical. They really are. And I think part of that, too, is they're so big, they're so dramatic looking, but also they are solitary animals. They like to be left alone. They like to be left alone. I hear you, buddy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I hear you. Yeah, they do. After some quality time with one of the world's most majestic land mammals, we were walking along the beautiful zoo pathway when suddenly I saw them. Camel rides? Yes, please. You sure it's safe? Oh, it's safe. No, I mean for the camel. Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay. And as always, I was great at it right away. Yeah, camel, yeah. <laughs> Wow, this I had no idea I'd get to do this. You ever rode a camel before? No, this is a first time experience for me. To be able to ride a camel was something I was totally not expecting. But it was so cool, when I come back, <laughs> I totally expect to do it again. As we walked through the zoo, every habitat Brenda showed me was cooler than the one before. And the way the zoo is designed and laid out, every exhibit is tucked away into its own little forest environment. This is one of the most incredible habitats I have ever seen. It's a beautiful habitat. It's one of the bigger chimpanzee habitats you're going to see in the country. Um, this exhibit was built in 2001. I mean, and it was gorgeous from the beginning, but every year it just gets more and more gorgeous. Well, this is so beautiful, it makes me want to be a chimp. I mean, this is just, you've got the 20 foot waterfall, you've got the little canyon right, here. Right. It's just absolutely incredibly natural. Yeah. And I can tell they're enjoying it. I can't. He, he, he looks like the camp elder. It looks like he's. Uh, Get off my property! Hello! No, he doesn't care. <laughs> He's not impressed. Our morning at the zoo really was an awesome experience. So, if you want to learn more about the animals that inhabit this planet, inhabit your car and plan a family expedition to the John Ball Zoo.